good thing we're not afraid of carbs, but if you had to, you could eat it with no bread. No brainer for lunch. Absolute no brainer. Welcome back to the Anabolic Hub, where we make anabolic deliciousness. We're back inside my kitchen today, and we're doing another original recipe, grabbing some inspiration from a video that Remington James recently posted. He just put up an anabolic tuna melt. I wanted to put a little different spin on this and do an anabolic spicy tuna melt, changing up a few of the ingredients. If you like spicy, this is gonna be how you're gonna wanna go. It's still gonna be loaded with protein, different flavors, gonna be ideal for any shredding plan, any main gaining plan, and definitely any weight loss plan. So, with no further ado, let's get things started by having a look at the ingredients. Here we go. One can of tuna fish in water, plain non-fat Greek yogurt, Frank's Red Hot wing sauce, buffalo style, but if all you have is the regular Frank's Red Hot, that'll be fine too. Pickles, the one ingredient to rule them all, salt. Black pepper, crushed red pepper. I can't believe it's not butter, the light one. Protein squares, two slices of low calorie regular ass bread. One of the things that's great about a tuna melt is aside from it being super high in protein, it's also super easy to make. You have to put all the ingredients into one bowl, mix it up, heat it up, and you eat it. It's really that simple. Nothing better to have some anabolic deliciousness than a simple process just like that. So let's get things going by mixing together our tuna salad first. One can of tuna in water drained, going in the bowl. Next, we need 50 grams of our non-fat plain Greek yogurt. You can use light mayonnaise. I happen to like using Greek yogurt. You get some more protein added in there, and who doesn't like that? And honestly, I just prefer the flavor better. Negative scale measuring system. Next, you need 20 grams of your Frank's Red Hot Wings Buffalo Sauce. This stuff has a little bit more of a spice and flavor to it, but if all you have is regular Frank's Red Hot Sauce, that works just as well, as equally as anabolic, and is super delicious. 20 grams going in. Next, we need 15 grams of our diced up pickles. You can use celery if you prefer a little bit more crunch and a little less pickle flavor. <laughs> Either way, it's gonna be fine. There's really nothing to these if you wanted to add more, if you wanted to add less. Doesn't change the recipe all that much. Here I'm using 15 grams of the pickles. Then after I get those ingredients in there, we're just gonna give it a quick mix up. After you get all those ingredients well incorporated, it's going to look something like this, some spicy anabolic deliciousness. Next step, we're gonna add in more spices. And these next few spices are pretty much to taste, so salt and pepper as much as you like. For the crushed red pepper flakes, based on how spicy you want it, you can add more or less. I do about five shakes and that's good enough for me, so based on your preference, use five, use seven, use one, use none. How spicy do you want it? That's what is determined here. And we give it another quick mix with those spices. And our tuna salad base is done. Next, we're gonna get our bread ready to go. You'll be better off from a calorie standpoint finding the lowest calorie bread possible. Rem, I think, used 45 calorie slices of bread in his video. Here, these are a little bit more than that, but I'm not gonna worry about it because I don't mind the extra few calories. Plus, this is a gluten-free household and gluten-free bread doesn't come any lower than these slices here, which are about 80 calories a slice. But if you wanna go a little bit lighter, you can definitely get the same bread Rem had or something like it that's low cal. Just wanted to break in real quick here to remind you to smash the like button, consider subscribing if you're not subscribed, and why don't you tell me in the comment section, what is your favorite sandwich? What would you like to see an anabolic version of? Let me know, I'll do my best to make it happen. All right, back to the video. Next, we're gonna put some, I can't believe it's not butter, the light one on what's going to be the outside of our sandwich here. You can measure it out if you want to. I might use about seven grams. To me, it's not that significant where I need to measure it. I'll include it in the macros, of course. I'm gonna assume I'm using seven grams here. I've eyeballed it enough to know exactly how much is going on. So that's what we're gonna do here. Spread some of this on our bread. Now that our bread is buttered and we have our tuna salad ready to go, we're gonna start assembling the sandwich. So we're gonna start by putting an equal amount of tuna on each slice of bread.
And after you get your tuna salad spread across the two pieces of bread, the last step is to add on your two slices of protein squares to each one. Now that we have our sandwich assembled and ready to go, the next step is to pop it into the air fryer at 250 degrees Fahrenheit or 120 degrees Celsius for four minutes. It's gonna come out nice and crispy with the cheese melted on top. We're gonna put the sandwich pieces together, cut it in half, take it over to the taste test table, and we're gonna see how awesomely, anabolically spicy this sandwich is. If you don't have an air fryer, don't worry about it. The only step you need to change is before you start assembling your sandwich, put your two slices of bread in the toaster, get them nice and toasty, then assemble your sandwich and put it into the oven under the broiler for two to four minutes, and you'll be good to go, same as the air fryer. Here it is, our anabolic spicy tuna melt. Let's cut it in half, see what's inside. And of course, we already knew what was inside, some high protein, anabolic, cheesy deliciousness ready to be eaten. Let's get it over to the taste test table. <laughs> and we're back at the taste test table yet again to try an awesome, lunch, heck, any time of day, dinner, have it for breakfast if you want, recipe, super anabolic. You can just see that the protein anabolic deliciousness with the cheesiness is just spilling out of the sandwich. So much volume in this. There's no way you're gonna be able to eat it and not feel satisfied. I'm so excited to eat this right now. I don't think I can wait any longer. Let's get right to it, first bite, best bite always, especially with this, no doubt in my mind, let's do it. Here we go. Mmm, oh, so good. Perfect amount of spice. Such deliciousness. The crispiness of the bread mixed in with the spiciness of the hot sauce. Then you get the cheese. It is just an anabolic heavenly dream. So much flavor with the pickles in there. Even if you just added celery, the spices are going to provide plenty of flavor all coming together. If you're looking for a break from the sweets and you want to have something here that's going to be a solid lunch, it's going to carry you through, loaded with protein, helping you make gains, helping you feel full and satisfied, getting you through your day. This is going to be a key part of your nutrition right here. No brainer. We all love sandwiches in general. We all love the cheesiness. Adding a little bit of spice to it gives that flavor palette something different to look forward to. This is something that you're gonna wanna have in your arsenal. It's gonna be such an easy recipe to put together. It takes almost no time at all. It's filling, super anabolic. I can't even stop to talk about it because it's so delicious to just have to eat it. To think at some point back in the day there was some poor bodybuilding soul who was eating plain tuna fish out of a can. Oh man, doesn't the thought of that just make you want to cry? <laughs> it does for me, because you know what? First half, gone. Make sure you have a fork on deck because there is going to be some protein anabolic deliciousness that you might want to scoop up with after you finish each half. Ooh, nice piece of cheesy tuna spicy anabolic deliciousness. You could eat it with no bread. <laughs> Good thing we're not afraid of carbs, but if you had to, you could eat it with no bread. And just like that, we're on to the second half. See that cheesiness in there? Oh my God. No brainer for lunch. Absolute no brainer. If you like tuna melts and if you like spice, this is a match made in heaven right here. Whether it's the air fryer or you're putting it into a conventional oven, it is something that is just so friggin' delicious. If you want your bread to be crispier than last time, no matter which one you're using, the oven or the air fryer, definitely put your bread in the toaster first. I didn't do it, I don't like my bread too crispy, but if you do, definitely toast it ahead of time and you'll get a nice crispy sandwich. There's not much else to say other than it's absolutely delicious. And it's almost gone. If you end up trying it, please let me know in the comment section. I'd love to hear how it turned out for you, but it's getting to be about that time. I gotta get up out of here, so I'll see you in the next one. Bye.